Okay, so um, next video, question seven. Um, we've got writing an algorithm in pseudocode that allows the user to enter their password. They can keep trying until they get it correct. The correct password is password one. So uh, starting off, we have uh, an input here where we're asking them to enter their password. We also have a loop because it says they can keep trying until they get it correct. And the correct password is password one. So that's telling us that we need to do some processing. We need to compare what they type with password one. Now, with regards to the loop, we don't actually know whether they're going to get it right on their first attempt or their 20th attempt, because we, we basically aren't limiting their attempts, but they can keep trying until they get it correct. So we can't use a for loop, because we're going to use a for loop when we know how many times it's going to iterate, how many times it's going to repeat. So um, we can use the uh, while or repeat structure. So we're going to look at the while loop with this example here. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to ask them to enter their password, input password. And we're going to declare that as a string because it's text. And basically what we're going to say is while the password isn't equal to password1, they have to keep typing in again. So in pseudocode we'd write that like this. Well, password, and we use the double pointy brackets back to back to represent not equal to. Uh, password1, do. So whatever they type in, if it's not equal to password1, then it's wrong. So we're going to make them type it again. And then we complete the while structure with just end while. So that will work. Um, I've done it again underneath. And the only difference is, oh, and uh, using uh, just for a bit of helpful reference on the pseudocode guide, which is on, I think, the second slide of this video, um, if you haven't got a copy of it, we're looking down here at iteration. And this is the while structure here. And we also have the repeat structure, which will be useful a little bit later. Um, I've redone the same question, which some of you might be saying, we haven't done any outputs. Well, I didn't do outputs initially because I just wanted to get the idea of how this works. So maybe you might want to rewind it and just go back through this bit again. But I've just rewritten it and I've just added some outputs now. So uh, I, I, just before input the input the password, little message, please send your password, and uh, an error message if they get the password wrong. Okay, so uh, thank you very much. On to the next one.